boys and girls, so begins yet another day of fun and games. Four more days, yes sir, Bob, four more days. Tis the season to be on vacation. Cluster, you know what? I'm not gonna say it, but you know what I wanted to say. Itchy head. Yeah, so they had me on a second load going in, then they took me off of it right away. No idea why. Tried talking to them. It's confusion galore this week because my regular DM, dispatcher, whatever you want to call them, is taking care of city because the city guy is out west in Winnipeg doing orientation for. The new company they bought, Yankee. And so my dispatcher's doing the city because he's the only other one that's trained on city. And so then they've got the guy that used to do nights, who's on days now, doing the inner can stuff. And he has no clue what goes on out here. And he's like, I just talked to him on the phone too. And he's like, uh, he says, I have no idea what you do out there. And I go, oh, it's all right. I have no idea what I do out here either. I just, you know, sit in my truck and look pretty all day long. But at any rate, so he's trying to figure it out because they put me on it, but then they took me off of it because he wants me to stay out here to catch the evening trailers that there's not many of. There's only three left in the door anyways. And I told him, I said, you got four loaded trailers out here. You better send a couple drivers out here to get them or the customer's going to start getting pissed because I need empties. So, anyways, I told him to leave that trailer on me so I can bring it in and make that my morning trailer when I go in the morning. But he was like, Totally confused. He was having a real blonde moment at that point. I think I uh, information overload there. And he like boiled over or something. So anyway, so now I'm sitting here. I'm just I'm thinking I'm gonna. It's gonna be a mushroom soup night tonight. I think. Yeah, we're gonna use the pot again. That sounds wrong, doesn't it? So, but anyway, rate, I want him to keep that load on me because I already signed for the paperwork. I sealed the trailer. I did everything to it already. It's all ready to go. I want it to be my load. Anyway, oh, to get on another note, hey, uh, guys with Facebook pages, make sure you have proper passwords. Certain trucking individuals who had a group page got their page hacked, and uh, this sounds funny, and I'm not laughing at because I know someone's going to go back to him and tell him that I was laughing at him, but I'm not laughing at him. It is funny in a way, because I always think that's going to happen to me, but luckily it never has yet, and obviously I've got a good password, but... They had their page hacked, their personal page, and they got into their group page, and they kicked him out of his own group page, or you took his, like, somehow got in there and made themselves administrator and de-administratored him and shut the page, didn't shut the page down, but turned it into a secret page or something, and, yeah, I really messed up, so I don't know all the details, but that's some messed up shit, man. So, and that's something I always think that, you know, may happen to the Big Rig Talk Facebook page, but luckily it hasn't happened yet. So, I mean, I feel for him. That's, that's got to be a real piss off because now you got to start from the beginning again almost and hope everyone gets the idea and knows what happened. 
So I'm thinking they are because they watch his videos also. So I'm sure he announced it in his video. But anyways, so I'm announcing it. For anyone who has a Facebook group or a page, make sure you have a really good password. 